but eventually you kind of got to, you know, chase your dream, chase what you want to do in life, and that was kind of play sports. So, um, you know, God gave me the ability to be able to be better at sports than everybody else in this world. Um, you know, a lot of people are better than other stuff than everybody in this world, so I'd rather chase my, as uh, Coach Calipari would say, chase your genius. So, yeah. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you. Yep. What's up, boy? How you doing? Good, good. How are you? How's, uh, how's London treating you? How you feeling? You know, we kind of just got here and we just been doing all football stuff. So London's been fine. Coach has been fine. Practice was fine. So ready to get to that game. How were uh, meetings when it, it felt like? Hold it right now. You can hold it if you want. Like, you got it. I got it. <laughs> how were uh, meetings this morning? What felt like probably 4 a.m. Atlanta time? It really felt like I didn't. Uh, I did sleep on the plane, but it really felt like I didn't sleep. It feels like the same day, to be honest with you. Uh, but we went over uh, practice from yesterday, uh, normal uh, Friday routine, and we got out, uh, did our red zone, all that type of stuff for Friday, uh, fast Friday. So it's pretty normal. I know this is a business trip, and goal number one is a win. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's different. It's not something every NFL player gets to experience. Yeah. What are you going to try to soak up about this trip? Anything else from Mike? Um, Kind of outside looking in, like I'm in. I've never really been outside of the country except when I was two. Went to Nigeria uh, with my family, so that's kind of the only real aspirations I've had is to go to Nigeria. But now I'm like out here in London, uh, and that's really a crazy thing to be playing sports for your for your uh, team outside the country. Uh, it's really a cool experience. Uh, Going to go see the city for dinner and uh, come back. Focus on the game. Speaking of dinner, he said he's buying all the running backs. He did. He's buying linebackers so too. He's buying linebackers. Yeah. Too? He, he like see. He wants to be in my interview. He, he can buy my dinner too. Hold the mic, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, what are your plans today? Just gonna hang out, get off the grid a little bit. Uh, yeah. Get on my feet, eat, see what kind of food they got here, um, and then come back, sleep. So I haven't slept in a long time. So is Dion next <laughs> in the, uh, the linebackers? We we uh, it's my fourth year in the league. I'm straight. <laughs> I might as well, but that's not, that's not how we're rolling tonight. <laughs> is it tough, though, to, you know, focus and dial in when there is a, you know, overnight flight, things are a little different, you got some other maybe distractions of be, having the sightseeing and wanting uh, to get souvenirs? I don't really think it's that important cause it, it, or that hard. Um, I'm sure it's different for everybody, but at the end of the day, there's another team that came down here and they're trying to beat us. So uh, when it is time to dial in and focus on, you know, the game, I think it's pretty easy for us to focus in on it. What stands out about uh, Zach Wilson about that Jets offense that you've seen? He, he has a great arm. He can get out of the pocket, create. Um, I think that's what he wants to do, and uh, going to make some stuff up on the flies. You saw last week where he, um, you know, went off against the Titans there. So, you know, he's, this is his natural talent. He's a very talented kid. But we're going to have our plans, and you're going to have to execute. Yeah, what have been some of the, um, you know, things y'all got to do with, with with him scrambling around? And mm -hmm. You know, uh, but stay disciplined. Yep, that's it. That's what it is. What about the with the you know the drops and the look like they were dropping y'all. You talked about it after the game where then they run somebody underneath. Uh, what can y'all oh, do right to combat that? Again, that's stay stay disciplined. Look at it and try to yeah, so when he escapes the pocket, we're gonna have to look up routes. Um, that's kind of the name of the game when you have a scrambling quarterback. They're just buying time. It's like a second play within a play, uh, making sure we can lock on our receivers. Yeah, and their rushing numbers don't look great, you know, with Carter and uh, my man from Maryland, um, Ty Johnson, I believe. Yeah. So yeah. The, you know, how do how does that, you know, I mean, we just look at that number. So yeah, number. You, you watch them on film. I mean, they they still try to run the ball though. So if we not we're not respecting the run game, that's not a good equation when a team can run the ball on you. So we're gonna have to stuff the run game, again, force them to be pa uh, in that passing game, and they have to execute when uh, Zach's trying to do his stuff. Do do um, Carter. Okay, thanks, John. Does Carter and Josh, do they have different styles? I mean, they, they're kind of in a, a similar scheme. One's more of a third down back, but they're in a similar run run scheme. Um, at the end of the day, you know, they're going to try to run their, their, their gap scheme runs or their home, we call them home back runs and kind of finish downhill the correct way. So we just have to fit up our gaps and, and tackle. Thanks, boy. Yep. Anything else? Thanks, boy. Thanks, boy. Right. Thank you. Appreciate you.